stars shine the brightest in Hollywood. And they'll be blinding tonight as Dirk Nowitzki leads the Mavericks into L.A. to take on Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. Two of the biggest names in sports go head-to-head. -head. Kobe, Dirk, the world is watching. It's all coming up right now. Here we are, soaring above Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a 2K Sports presentation of Tuesday Night NBA Basketball. We have the Dallas Mavericks visiting the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. We have a great Western Conference matchup for you in this one. Mike, this should be special. Two teams as hot as they come going at it. Mavericks have been great all season long, but they'll have their hands full with a Lakers side that's put it all together since the start of December. And of course, Clark, the Stars are playing as well as ever. No bigger names in basketball right now, Kevin, than Kobe Bryant and Dirk Nowitzki. They play different positions, but are elite when it comes to putting the ball in the basket. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. We've got Terry. Dan Pierre is out there with Nowitzki. And there's Marquise Daniels, and it's Griffin in at the shooting guard. And for the Lakers, Kobe is out there with Parker. Then there's Brian Cook. Then there's Brown. And it's Odom in at the three, the small forward. I'm curious how Kobe Bryant comes out to start the game. Only took 13 shots last time out and made a loss. He knows he has to be more involved than that. Mike, I agree with you. I mean, that loss the Lakers suffered last time out to the Rockets. Only scored 74 points in that game, did the Lakers. And... That just won't get it done. Kobe himself was quoted after the game saying he wished he had taken more shots in the contest. So I think it's a given. He's going to shoot more than 13 times tonight. And this is the final game of the Lakers three-game homestand. Clark, they go on the road for the next three. Well, it's been a big homestand for the Lakers. They've seemingly hit their stride during this stretch. The Mavericks shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Adrian Griffin. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Griffin is such a high IQ player, and he also combines that with playing hard and always being under control. Griffin hits them both. And Clark with the Lakers, when Kobe starts getting hot, you worry the other guys don't get involved as much. I agree, Kevin, because it's easy to watch a guy like Kobe carry the load. I mean, they depend on him an awful lot for his level of production. But if they're going to win, they're going to need other players to get involved. And so here is Dallas following the miss by Kobe Bryant. And stolen by Odom. Out of bounds. And Dallas takes ball. possession. Here's Terry. Outside for Griffin. About a minute played so far here in the first. And now Bryant pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Oh, he's so good as a two-way player. Gets the steal, and he's taking it right to the rack. Here's Dallas. And Mike, the last few games, the Lakers' defense has been huge for them. Well, the last three games, they've held their opponents to 36% from the floor. You make it that hard to shoot, you'll win most games. Now oh, here's Parker, following the miss by Jason Terry. Oh, we wanted to dish out some pain with that one. He put some hurt on the rack there. 
Terry against Parker. That's tipped. Nowitzki right side. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Fadeaway was the right shot there because he got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. Here's Parker, and there's another one for the Lakers. There's the jumper from mid-range. Love seeing that from Smush Parker, making his presence felt. Dampier, the pass to Terry. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break, and finished off by Brown. And this kind of play is only going to grow their lead, holding the other guys down on defense and converting on the turnover. Terry outside. And here's Daniels. Outside, Griffin. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range here. Trying to extend this lead. Actually, they're going more than trying because the lead is growing. This is a key part of the game. They're trying to get some breathing room. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And now let's go to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. D.A., what do you got? Well, guys, the Lakers had their hands full on Sunday trying to slow down Tracy McGrady. They have an equally tough matchup here with Dirk Nowitzki. The size and shooting that Dirk provides is impossible to match up against. A true test for this Lakers defense. Guys? Thank you, D.A. Dirk has been unstoppable, Clark, to start the season. He can do so much facing up. He shoots over you or puts it on the floor, Kevin. He's a problem and a nightmare to defend. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Terry outside. And the pass to Daniels. Will it go? And too long on the shot. You know, I think we're all very curious to see how Adrian Griffin does against Kobe Bryant. I mean, he was only signed to this Mavs roster in the past month, Mike. And if I'm Phil Jackson, I'm feeding Kobe early. Let him test Griffin and force the Mavericks to make an adjustment. Ashton Nowitzki. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And I like the trickery of Nowitzki. Super at drawing the D into the air and then earning that foul. It's his first trip to the line. Dirk Nowitzki, two shots. And the first one drops. You know, it really shows on the face of Nowitzki how much he loves playing the game. And that kind of enthusiasm is infectious. Both free throws good from Nowitzki. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Pass to Odom. Over Daniels. And again, it's the Lakers. Right from the start. They set the tone and were the more dominant team. I love how they've looked right from the tip. Doing an amazing job building this lead. And the Lakers sit at 13-11 on the season so far. But they've been playing much better of late. I agree, Mike. I mean, they've won seven of their last nine. That includes their win over Dallas, which we mentioned earlier. And this run has moved them back over 500. It's Terry outside. I 
Coach Gallus hasn't taken the same amount of threes this year as they did in the past. Coach Johnson doesn't want them looking for as many threes. You can see how different their approach has been. Count that one. Odom's got his second basket of the game. Going inside with purpose and on a mission. Making it happen in tight. Yeah, the intensity is outstanding. And high percentage looks are a great way to build a lead. Basket, good. Use the pick. Get space. Easy, smart basketball. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the Lakers. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Boy, I like that. Smush so Parker taking it right to him. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Holton's checked in for Cook. Then for the Mavericks, Sagana Jops checked in for Eric Dampier. Van Horn comes in for Griffin. And Harris subbed in for Terry. Free throw no good for Parker. An explosive athlete. Huge hops. When given the opportunity, Smush Parker can really put on a show. And what a matchup this should be. Lakers won the last meeting between the two teams the Monday before last. That was a back and forth slugfest. They look to him offensively. A player who makes an impact on this end. Master Walt. Kicks it to Bryant. A pass to Odom. That's it, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And Clark, in their last meeting, the Lakers won that contest by three. And remember, Kevin, it featured a fadeaway three from Kobe Bryant late in the game. Drama for real. That score gave the Lakers the lead, and they never looked back. Dallas calls timeout. You know, I can imagine the coach has given them an earful about what's happening in the paint. They've got to clean that up. Yeah, their interior defense has been too easy to crack. Time to get physical down low. the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 20 to 6 run. And the dunk by Bryant. Well, I tell you what a year it's been for Kobe Bryant so far, Mike. Having an MVP level season early on and he's been doing it all for the Lakers. Averaging 31.3 points per game so far. Second in the league only to AI out in Philly. Kobe has been on a mission. against Harris and it's sent back by Nowitzki and you know Nowitzki is capable of 86 in these shots now that means rejection using his height and wingspan to deny here's Bryant the shot's good Brown making the play and 12 points for Kobe Bryant average trail by 16 Harris looking it over. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Pass to Van Horn. Six on the shot clock. Some nice passing here by Dallas. High post shot. Rebound by Parker. 
or the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Bryant got it. 14 points for him in the quarter. Boy, they didn't waste any time, did they? They got going right away. They obviously had a plan coming in, and they put it to good use. And here we go. Parker heading to the hoop. And the dunk by Parker. We know he can play. Almost like Parker was making a statement with that dunk. Coach Fratello, a basket here would be huge. They need to break up this run. Parker with the steal. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Count it at 16 for the quarter. Right now, I tell you, it's just clicking for them on both ends. I mean, good defense turned into great offense to keep them out front. Here is Daniels, guarded by Kobe. Free throw line jump shot, rebound by Parker. Parker's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Bryant. 40 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And that one's good. Parker. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. Daniels with it. Defended by Bryant. Passes it to Harris. to Daniels. Rebounded by the Lakers. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. Crops it in. That's 18 for him in the quarter. I like what the defense is thinking right there, but you know, Kobe's agility allows him to avoid the contact. Now here is Harris. Over Parker. And the last second attempt that doesn't fall. Kobe Bryant getting it done for Los Angeles. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We come back right after this. Welcome back, everyone, to Los Angeles and Staples Center. Second quarter just getting going. And, Mike, this is the lone trip to Staples Center for the Mavs this season. Yeah, these teams only see each other three times this season. This is the only chance for Laker fans to see Dirk in person. Here's Van Horn. Nowitzki left side. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Walton. A rebound by Walton. Probably better off passing on that shot with him in your face right there. Yeah, no reason to force it there. Hopefully he learned something during that sequence. Oh, a terrific timing on that connection right there. Well done both ways. Parker against Armstrong. And there's the pass to Nowitzki. Over Walton. And it's Nowitzki missing. And great challenge by the defense there to prevent the inside bucket. Out to Parker. A three. That's it. That's Coming off an three. assist by Kobe. Kobe's got three assists now in this one. Not his favorite shot, but nice to see Parker hitting from out there. Daniels with it. Defended by Bryant. On the wing, Daniels. The high post shot. Here's Jop. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jop's got his first points in this one. And just like that, the last few games, Mike, the Lakers' defense has been swarming. They've flipped the switch since the start of December. They want this to be their identity. Now here's Kobe. He's got 20. Driving the lane. And finish off by Bryant. Carving his way inside with ease. Bryant is a surgeon on these takes. Now Armstrong. Pass to Van Horn. He kicks it to Armstrong. From outside the arc. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. 
Great job of closing the space and getting the hand up. You got to do both. Got to credit the defender there. He guarded the three-point line as Ooh. good as you can. Walton showing you his playmaking ability. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Daniels with it. George picks him up. Daniels passes to Van Horn. Over Bryant. Van Horn, no good. Left side, Bryant. It's good, and that's 26 points this half. They can't miss on an absolute tear. This is a thing of beauty. Perfect offensive basketball. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, pass to Van Horn. Here's Armstrong, six to shoot. Over Parker. And it's Armstrong missing. Mark, what a hot start to the year for the Mavs. It's been Dallas 18 and six. And somehow, Kevin, that's only the third best record in the NBA right now. The Mavs showing. They're locked in and taking care of business this year. Here's Kobe. Oh, oh that was something to see. Good. And the amazing moves, folks. Skillfully handling that rock and creating some space for himself. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And in the matchup between two elite scorers, Mike, Kobe has a major lead. He's come out on a mission. Kobe is refusing to have two pedestrian games in a row. Gets it to go. He has 30 for the half. Yeah, Wong puts his team first out there. If he sees a guy with a prime shot, he'll get him the ball. Armstrong with it. Still scoreless. They get a hand on it. And now in transition is Parker. Here we go. And it's good. Two points. Off the dribble, Parker can change pace and get to his spots. Well, as you can see, when you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. For sure. I mean, playing loose can help you and hurt you. It can cut both ways. I think they've got to tighten it up a little bit here. Here's Armstrong. Here's Daniels. They can't stop the run with that one. Tell you what, you can feel their frustration underneath the surface. It's actually palpable with all these misses. They're trying to shake it off, but every time they come up short, the panic starts to set in. To the paint. And it's blocked by Brown. With Brown's reach now, it's tough to get a shot off around him. And what a start, oh, Mike. It's been right. for Avery Johnson in his coaching career. Took over the Mavs last season. Has them humming this year. Sports a 34-8 record as their coach. Not a bad start to your career. Here is Daniels following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Armstrong dishes to Nowitzki. Shot clock at six. And they're pushing it up. Here's the floater. That's good from Walton on the assist from Kobe. Kobe's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Armstrong against Parker. On the wing, Daniels. Passes it to Van Horn. For three. They get it again. Shot. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. All-out effort for the putback. Beautiful. A thunderous two points. He knew what to do with the board. Fantastic play. Now, here's Bryant. He's got 32. The pass to Walton. Minutes remaining in the first half. Two Back to Kobe. Dives to the hoop. Down Run it the goes! Hoop. Take that rack what now! A slam! You know, finding ways to build their lead, to expand it. Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. And it's because they're playing selfless basketball, doing an outstanding job running and executing their plays. Here is Armstrong. Still yet to score. Pass to Van Horn. Dishes at the chop. Clock at four. Here's Armstrong. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. And it's the Lakers on the break. And Walton throws it down. And Luke Walton, Mike, such a great plug-and-play option for this team. Slots right into multiple lineups. Great mind for the game. Easy to play with. I could see him getting into coaching one day. 
Lance Armstrong. And that one hits back iron. Tremendous all-out defensive effort. Save the bucket there. And this is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Let's credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And Los Angeles with some changes. Cook is checked in for Brown. Odom comes in for George. And it's Vujicic in for Parker. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Benga, he's checked in for Jop. Powell comes in for Novitski. Griffin's checked in for Daniel. Devin Harris subbed in for Armstrong. Now here is Harris. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Vujicic. And here we go. Bryant heading to the hoop. It goes. He's got 20 points this quarter. So explosive in the open floor. Once Bryant turns on the Jets, watch out. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. To the right side. Here's Van Horn. Five to shoot. And here is Harris. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Lakers ball. Bryant looking over the floor. Oh, Kobe is on fire tonight. His career high within reach. Remember, Brian had 56 points in just three quarters against the Grizzlies back in 0-2. And so it's Los Angeles able to put on a show for the agents. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. We'll return shortly. The green and red lights of the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. You know it's holiday season here. The second half is starting up here in L.A. Lakers against the Mavs on this Tuesday night on 2K. And here are the Mavericks now. And for the Lakers, Mike, they've had a tough schedule to start the season. A lot of games against tough opponents should get a lot easier for them in the second half of the season. If they can tread water, they should be fine. Well, right now, Kobe's turned that grease on the stove up, folks. He is on fire. Keep getting in the ball, please. Now Daniels. Knocked loose. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Odom. looking over the floor poke loose Parker with the steal to the inside Bryant and Kobe just Kobe two points Bryant. away from matching his season high at 6-4 Parker can see over most other point guards excellent vision by Smush pass to Daniels kicks it to Griffin Just five to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Shoots. Lakers with the rebound. Here's Odom. And then Odom slams it in. Lamar Odom terrorizing that rack with the ferocious throwdown. And so it's Terry bringing it up for Dallas. Well, Phil Jackson has delivered everything Laker fans could have hoped for in his tenure, Clark. No doubt about that. You're right on. Multiple titles and some incredible team. With Shaq gone, he's got a tougher challenge now, though. Still, Laker fans must love the job he's done. I don't see how they could. And Brown throws it down hard. Coming out of halftime, they're on an absolute tear. And I don't know what was said in that locker room, but it's working. Brown's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. 
Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Daniels with it, guarded by Odom. Kicks it out to Terry. And it's sent back by Odom. The length of Odom shows up at both ends of the floor. Outstanding defense there. And Kobe is now tied for his season high he had against New Jersey. Enjoying this big lead, and right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom, this is the pinnacle of execution. They get it back. Here's Nowitzki. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Taking full advantage of the contact, Dirk gets the whistle while in the act of shooting. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Dirk Nowitzki taking two shots. Two shots. A well, free throw drops for Dirk Nowitzki. This was not too far away, Mike, and the Lakers, one of the teams playing that night. It should be fun. Only two Christmas Day games this year, but they are great matchups. Shaq and Kobe facing off as the Lakers go to Miami. And the Spurs versus Pistons later on should be a great one as well. And so Nowitzki nails both of them. Here's Odom. Eight points for him. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Bryant. Kobe is set a new season high and is one bucket away from 50. Daniels with it. Odom's there. Daniels with it. A second chance effort. The shot misses. Nice D from Odom. Parker drives in. Kobe hitting the 50-point mark here with plenty of game left. Where will this take us? Look at Bryant just outwork. Timeout, Dallas. Kobe into the 50s and so much game time left. I tell you, these fans loving every minute of it. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Parker against Terry. Well, I like the fire that Jason Terry plays with. I mean, this guy is very energetic. He's a combo guard, and he plays and shoots with a ton of confidence. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Jason Terry. Shooting two. Free throw, good, Terry. Oh. 
And both free throws good for Terry. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Down it goes. He's got 52. How about the concentration from Kobe? Just powering through that contact. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Kobe Bryant. Free throw, good, Bryant. And if you were going to build a shooting guard from scratch, you'd likely end up with Kobe Bryant. Poked away. Picks it out to Terry. Jason Terry is what I would call a lead guard. He's a shoot-worst type of point guard, but does a nice job drawing fouls when he has the opportunity to do so. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Jason Terry taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good, Terry. Good on both. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 17-6 run. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Bryant. Oh, Kobe again! Close to his career high! Well, that Lakers defense, Mike, continues to be stout here in the second half. You can see the effort from them every trip down the court. Fantastic rotations, and they're challenging every shot. Eric Dampier. George is checked in for the Lakers. Van Horn, he's checked in for Dallas. Substitution on the court. And so Brown will bring it up for the Lakers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Here's Kobe. There it is! 57 for Kobe! That is a new career high! Tipped away. Parker with the steal. Kobe with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. There's the lob to Brown. And finished off by Brown. Brown with the finish himself in close. Bagging his own groceries that time. Here's Dallas. Now here's Terry. Passes it to Van Horn. Just five on the clock. Rebounded by the Lakers. Odom's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Kobe. Gets it to fall. 19 for the quarter. If a guy gets this open, Odom won't miss him. He keeps his head up out there. Dirk has had an impact, but Mike Kobe has run away in their scoring battle. Kobe is playing possessed. He's made it his personal mission to carry this Lakers offense. Terry kicks to Nowitzki. Over Odom. Misses off the right iron. They're running away with this one right now. Now they're just seeing how big they can make this lead. Let's take a moment here to check in with our sideline reporter, the terrific David Aldridge. Well, it's been tough for the Mavericks to get wins here in L.A. Dallas has a record of 9-45 and 45 against the Lakers here in Los Angeles. Now, they fared better in Jason recent years, Terry. but historically, it's been one of their toughest road trips. Guys? David, sensational report. Thank you so much. And Clark, tough for teams to come in here and play. 
If absolutely right, Kevin. It's been hard for anybody to get wins here in L.A. George passes to Kobe. Brown outside. Bryant gets a wide open look. Cashes oh, in. That's 61. Boy, this really is Kobe's game in a nutshell. I mean, it's the biggest part of his game, his ability to score. And he looks to be aggressive, hunting his shots. Here's Dampier, and it's blocked by Brown. Here's Kobe. And Kobe well into the 60-point range now. I can't ever recall seeing anything quite like this. I mean, Kobe scoring at will. Over 60 points with a bunch of time left. He might go for a C note here. Terry against Parker. Rebounded by the Lakers. Brown's got five rebounds tonight. Inside, Odom. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Odom was not going to allow that foul to keep him from scoring the ball. Well done. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Second checked in for Los Angeles. Vujicic comes in for Parker and then for Dallas. Benga, he's checked in for Dampier. Powell comes in for Turk Nowitzki. And Devin Harris is subbed in for Terry. That one misses for Odom. You look at the versatility of Odom, especially at the defensive end where he can guard multiple positions, makes him extremely valuable. It's Devin good. Harris. Harris has got his first bucket of the night. This offense has been dynamic and diversified. Everybody sharing the ball and sharing the load oh, makes you really right. hard to defend. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left them that much of a lane to work with. Harris outside. There's the pass to Van Horn. In the corner, it's Griffin. Shot clock at two. The shot by Powell, no good. When you bring it inside, you have to go up strong. Because more often than not, you'll face stiff defense. Hold up. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. Kobe's got his seventh assist in the game. The sheer strength of Odom. Able to play through the inside cover. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Substitution on the court. the buzzer and this one is in the books. Lakers win on the back of a sensational scoring display from the great Kobe Bryant. I've never seen anything like that. Kobe was locked in and it seemed like he couldn't miss. Mikey couldn't in a tough loss for the Mavs. But Clark, they can only shake their head at what Kobe did right before him tonight. Look, Kevin, sometimes when you witness greatness, you just have to sit back, appreciate it, respect it, and enjoy it. This was a game that we'll all remember for a very long time. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Beside the Lakers, Kobe Bryant. Contributions up and down the roster tonight. What did you get from your reserves? Well, they gave us a big boost. You know, they came in and did a fantastic job defensively. It really changed a lot of shots and, uh, you know, got some rebounds and got us out on the break. It was a great team effort tonight leading to the win. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much, David. For Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. So long.